right, everybody. Um, got off work, decided, nah, you know what, I'll go by one of the parks here. Yeah, well, the, it rained all last night out where I work, and it's right next to where I like to detect, and that place gets really, really soggy. So I figured it'd be safer to go to the park here near my house. Um, sorry for the length of my last video. I really, 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 really wanted that detector to be awesome, but I don't know. I'm still waiting for the, the company to, you know, email me back, but maybe they saw my video and they hate me. I don't know. I did get three dislikes, so if I offended anybody with it, I'm sorry, but um, listen, if I find something that's a bummer out there, I don't want other people to be bummed out by it. You know, Amazon's selling that thing for 450 bucks. I want it as a prize, well, as a raffle. And if other people can find out something through, you know, either my luck or my misfortune, I don't have a problem sharing it. But like I said, it could just be that I have a bum machine. Who knows? But anyhow, um, I'm here at my local park. I'm just going to do a little bit of tot lot searching. Um, and it's winter time, so there's not going to be much out in the grass. Well, it's spring now, but like I said, it rained last night. It didn't rain too much here, but I really don't feel like getting super muddy today. I just want to go home. i got to change out my uh, car battery. There's this lady walking by looking at me funny. It's kind of funny. And... Uh, but I got to change out the battery in my truck, which is 45 bucks from Walmart, one-year warranty. I don't drive it that much anymore. That's the orange thing in the video, in the in, uh, outro. But uh, let's see what I find. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Well, this is a bad omen. First hit. Pull tab. Gag nab it. Well, it's dead quiet out here. It's just me. I haven't even found a coin yet. <laughs> I've been out here for a half an hour. I've gotten two pull tabs and some... I mean, I'm, I'm desperate. I'm just digging holes on anything right now. So, let's see what you can do. I'll show you, but I've gotten like pull, two pull tabs, a bike valve stem, uh, a SIM chip for a cell phone, and uh, some odd pieces of steel. Whatever. Let's see what I can find. Okay, semi-live dig. I just cut the plug, haven't flipped it over. Don't know what it is. And my pinpointer's acting up. JMO, you're correct. <laughs> no, it's doing something crazy. I don't know if it's because there's a strong signal here. We're going to reduce this. Sensitivity has been reduced. Okay, it's in the plug. It was an 88, so I'm not expecting much. But like I said, I'm not finding much today. I'm digging just about everything. I'm hoping it's like a, you know, silver earring or something. Is that it? That's not it. Oh, there it is. What is it? Oh, darn it. It's a piece of a toy car. Sorry for wasting your time. Oh, well. All right, it's bad when you're at a park and you're excited over that. <laughs> it's a Zinkin. Okay. A new one too. Shield back zinking. Yay. That's pretty bad. I think it's safe to say I may have officially killed my macro. It's acting up really bad. Um, well, I've had it for a couple of years of, or a year at least. That'll be two pinpointers I have officially killed in this metal detecting career of mine. 
The first, first was uh, my Pro Find, which I mean, somebody just needed a pinpointer, didn't care if it worked or not, and I just gave it to them. Um, second is my Macro. But I have that White's TRX that I don't like in my car. So at least I'll have that. I kill, I kill stuff, don't I? As a friend of mine said, hey Matt, you know, you could break a steel ball. Well, that macro, it was a steel ball. I don't know, I'll probably take it apart. Maybe the uh, coil inside's dirty or something. Somehow got some moisture in it that week it spent all by itself in the hills in Korea. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, I did end up with some more coins. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Do a little trash can roundup over here. Alrighty. Yeah. I forgot how much fun it isn't. Uh, <laughs> you don't have a pinpointer. <laughs> Alright. I'm just babbling. One moment. Alright, there's the trash. Uh, piece of space junk. Space junk. Oh, a penny. Goes in there. Uh, steel. Well stem. Foil. A piece of that car. Oh, another piece of that car. And a piece of tin can. Uh, safety pin and a hair clip. Two evil ones. Those go in the collection. And uh, there's all the coins. Got uh, five, a nickel, two dimes, and four pennies, and a SIM chip. <laughs> That's going in the garbage. There we go. Oh, one penny's in 1970. That's it. Y'all have a great day. Uh, I'll tag this on to another video. Y'all have better luck than me out there. Well, I uh, took it apart, and I think I fixed it. The uh, ferrite rod and coil assembly came loose up here. Luckily, there's a screw you pull out here and you slide the whole unit apart and it had become jammed up here. So I pulled it out carefully. I mean, I peeled off the sticker because eh, I thought there was a screw behind there. But I can always stick that back on. But um, pull it apart carefully, put it all back together. Uh, even hit it up with some uh, contact cleaner. And lo and behold, I mean, you guys saw in the video. See? But it's not picking up at weird angles. So, hey, JMO, um, that was probably what was wrong with the macro or that Nokia that you're playing with is that the ferrite rod inside here with the coil around it came loose and it was just rattling around in there. So, there we go. Fix my macro again. All right, y'all take care. Good luck. Happy hunting. Bye for now. Woo! I don't have to buy a new pinpointer. Good morning. All right, part two of the video. Um, let's see. Uh, when I last left you, my macro had decided to go crazy. I fixed it. So we're going to give it a test today. Oh, by the way, it's Sunday, um, yeah, I think Friday was the 15th, 16th, so Sunday, uh, March, no, April 17th, 7.25 in the morning, it's 51 degrees, having breakfast. Um, I know it's probably rude to talk and food in my mouth, but, um, they got bad manners. Hey, y'all. On Friday, um, Package came in the mail. It's another detector I won. So, I don't know if you've heard of this brand. It's a White's MXT All Pro. Never heard of them. Came with like four coils, rechargeable batteries, all kinds of junk. So, we're going to give it a test shot today. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not going to go as, do as well as that Scantrack Tesla 1000, but I don't know. We'll see how it works. All right, this one's saying zinc. 
Evet. Should be right here. Same like right near the surface. Let me get my digger. Right there. Let's see how accurate this display is. It's a penny. Oh, there it is. And it was right on the surface. I don't know. So far it's doing better than that scan track. Might have a winner now. <laughs> Alright. Catch it next one. Alright, so this one's saying penny or dime. I was about to pull out my pinpointer. It's right there. In 1977. So let me go back over it and see if there's actually a dime there. That's copper penny. So. Nope. Nothing else. Alrighty. So far, I'm liking this machine. Uh, it's not as uh, light as my Deus, but it's pretty accurate so far. Alright, so I just dug, well, scraped a zinc in there. This one's ringing up as a copper, so. Nope. Okay, the display was reading um, 79 VDI repeatable. And it said copper, penny, or dime. It's my second dime that's red like that. I'm really liking this machine, <laughs> to be honest with you. Which says a lot since, you know, I've, I've been using a Deus for a while. So this thing here is a, it's a coin vacuum. I like the fact that it's telling me if it's bad or good. I need to get this thing out into the hills and do some prospecting with it. Then that way you'll never see me again because I'll find all the gold and disappear. Okay, let's dig this one together. It's a uh, solid signal. VDI of 77. Which of course is telling me copper penny or dime. So we have a penny. What's the date? 73. So this thing, this, this machine is, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. So, it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying this. Um, but hey, I just want to give a shout out to my buddy, uh, Al. Al Fu. I'm loving this thing, man. Okay, so pretty much done with the tan bark. Um, I'm going to hit some of the grass out here. It's a big, gigantic, open, empty field and see what kind of targets that come up. Uh, I know I'm wearing these weird earbuds. Uh, the only headphones I can find. I can't find my big ones. And, well, I have some wireless uh, D-Techs on the way, so <coughs> I can use them with these, this unit and my uh, bliss tool. So, I'll flip you around and show you what I'm going to do next. All right, you see that tree dead center of your screen? I'm going to walk that line all the way out there. Why? Why not? And we'll see what we find. A lot of people use this field for playing baseball, uh, football, soccer, uh, grab butt, you name it. So we'll see what we can find. Okay, the VDI was giving me nothing but coin signals on this at four inches. <sighs> I haven't looked at it yet. I just cut the plug. Let's see what we got. It's hiding. That's what it. Oh. That was a little off on cutting the plug there. Let's see if we break out of here. And everything from pennies to 50 cent piece. So. But it's solid coins, so I'm guessing it's a clad of some sort. Okay, it's right there. All right, the sidewall here. Think it's in that clump? Nope. Yeah, this thing is. I'm probably gonna hit it with my digger. Oh, ooh, look what we got. We got a ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Got a ring. I don't know if it's real. Looks like real stainless steel at least. <laughs> but hey, ooh, it's got a little thing down on the bottom. It's a ring. Sweet. I'll have to clean it up and look at it later. It's pretty. Alright, catch you in a bit. So here's the roundup with the new White's MXT All Pro that I have. It's not new, but it's new to me. Got a nickel, two, four, six, eight, ten pennies. Two dimes for a total of 35 cents. Uh, this ring, it's got a marking in there. I'll have to look at it. Uh, the usual park fit. And there we go. That's not too bad. Um, not bad for a park hunt with a brand new machine. Like I said, I got uh, three other coils for it. One's a four inch, uh, a 13 inch butterfly by Detect, and it, oh geez, like seven by eight butterfly by Detect. What I was using today was the uh, stock 10 inch coil. But yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Good luck out there. Happy hunting and uh, get out there and dig. It's getting beautiful out. All right, update on the ring. Uh, clean it up. It's a, it's a faker. It's pretty though. Um, but the uh, thing inside there, it says 10 or it says die. I don't know. Let's see if you can see it. Let me zoom in. DL? Yeah, DL. I don't know. But yeah, you can tell it's fake. That's okay though. I think it's my third or fourth ring this year. Um, I don't find too many real ones. <laughs> but hey, it's a ring. Goes on the count. Alright. Bye bye.